I'm Dr. Kristen Ritchie. I'm an Associate Professor of Psychology at Ball State University. Most students who pursued their degree in Cognitive and Social Processes go on to doctoral programs in either Cognitive Psychology and or Social Psychology. However, those aren't the only options. Some students can go on to become institutional researchers, or some might branch out of the field of psychology altogether. For example, some might go into education, becoming either teachers or administrators. Some might go into professional settings in business or industry. So students gain a wide knowledge base and skill set that helps them succeed in a variety of academic and social and professional settings. Students enrolled in a master's program for cognitive and social processes can expect to take a variety of courses designed to integrate the two disciplines. So for example, memory processes, social cognition, theories of personality will all help the students understand how those um, disciplines or how those ideas manifest themselves in the real world. Students would also be expected to take advanced courses in research methods and statistics and diversity. So again, they're going to be developing a wide knowledge base that's going to help them understand how these topics apply in a variety of settings. There are several things that students can do to help them get admission into a program for cognitive and social psychology, and two of the main recommendations would be to get research experience or internships. With research experience, we would encourage students to become involved in faculty research so they can see the research project firsthand and get that experience, and with internships, we would encourage students to get involved with areas that they find interesting or motivating. So the time management skills and the work ethic and the perspective that they would gain from those kinds of experiences would help them in all of their future professional and educational endeavors.